Hi everyone, um, welcome back to the second part of um, blinking an LED with Raspberry Pi Pico W or WH. So if you look at my previous video, I explained the hardware for the circuit um, where we basically set up the messier version of this board. And then between these two videos, basically um, I tried to clean it up a little bit I transferred some of the wires underneath basically picked up that Raspberry Pi and placed some of the wires underneath the board and then cut some of the, the legs of some of these um, components so that they can sit on the board nicely like this okay so right now what we're gonna do is to power up this Raspberry Pi and this is the LED that is going to show us if the uh, board is powered up or not and this is the LED that we are going to later try to blink it right and then um, you can see as I explained before um, basically this is um, the USB cable that is going to power um, this Raspberry Pi up so as soon as we connect this side uh, and the other side of it to a USB port of a computer Basically, uh, you should see the LED, the green LED come on, basically turn on. Okay, so this is what happens, right? So it shows that our um, Raspberry Pi is powered on. Now, uh, in order to put this, uh, to program this Raspberry Pi, uh, there is a mode where we call it the massive storage mode, where you can upload programs to it. In this second part, we are going to use Arduino, uh, well, the, the base of which is um, C, C++, uh, to basically write the program for this um, function that we want. And uh, that's it, basically. Okay, yeah, To in order to put this uh, in the mass, actually, storage mode, um, sometimes, like, if your computer is uh, Mac, basically, um, you would need to put this in um, massive storage mode and it wouldn't automatically go to that mode. For Windows, if you connected, as soon as you connected, you would see the Raspberry Pi as a storage, like a driver on your file manager. Um, but basically, uh, on a Mac, you might not see that. And what you can do, the way you can put that is that you would press this reset button here and then the, this is the boot still. Um, button you would press it release it and then release this one so the mixture of this one and this one first you press this the reset button on the Raspberry Pi and then press this one release it and then release this one and that would hopefully uh, make um, the Raspberry Pi show up as a driver so you can basically drag uh, or make it uh, recognizable for Arduino as a serial port so you can upload videos um, sorry upload <laughs> programs to it um, okay so this is the hardware and now I'm gonna go on the computer to show you what you need to do on the audio Arduino Arduino uh, to basically uh, make the program that you want okay welcome back to the computer side of this video basically uh, so here, as you can see, as soon as I connected the Raspberry Pi or my, yeah, the Raspberry Pi to my computer, uh, it came up as a driver here. But um, before going through that, let me show you the Arduino um, environment. So this is the IDE, um, basically, that we're going to write our program on it, right? So in order to make... Um, or you know, make it work with your Raspberry Pi. First, we have to add the core to it. And the way you can do that is that you go to tools, board, and then as you can see here, mine is already Raspberry Pi Pico W as I chose it. But you, what you can do is go to the board manager. And as soon as that loads, you can write Pico here, press enter, and then RP24 is basically the microcontroller on our board. So what we can do is like 
select the latest version here and then basically press install, right? Mine is already installed, so I don't need to do that. And then once you do that, then you press install. Oops. Okay. Then you would come here. It will show up as uh, RP24 here, and then you can choose the Pico W, right? And uh, great. So that happened. Um, so we basically made Arduino extendable to our microcontroller and then added a added the required core to that. Um, then what you can do is that in your preferences, you can choose the um, where you want the sketches, what we call the, the codes sketch in Arduino. You can find the folder, put the folder, select the folder for your um, basically um, for your uh, sketches to go there. And then you can basically, another option that is useful is like show verbose output during comp uh, compilation or upload. And then that would show you kind of like how much memory you're using and stuff like that. So that's another useful one. So in order, in order for this to happen, basically, um, to take effect, you need to close Arduino, open it again, right? So remember to do that. And then now that we, our computer recognized uh, the um, Raspberry Pi as a storage, what we are going to do is uh, try to write a program to it, right? And now, First, we have to see if the port has been recognized, right? So right now, if you go to tools and then choose port, um, since the Raspberry Pi is connected to the computer using a serial port, this should be activated, right? Meaning that Arduino recognize this um, Raspberry Pi connected to the serial port, but mine is actually not active. Right, you can see it is gray. So that means it's not recognizing it. And basically the reason for that is that if I go to device manager here and look at my other devices here, RP2 boot, that one, the driver for it is not installed properly. And this happens for Windows. For Mac, um, basically this shouldn't happen. As soon as you put the, the Raspberry Pi in the mass storage mode, uh, you would be able to see um, tools, port, and then you go to the serial port, right? But for now, this is not recognized. And then if you go to the Raspberry Pi, how to get started, it will tell you like where to download the driver for um, basically, um, to download the driver for the Raspberry Pi. So you can go to this website, Zadig, um, Zadig, uh, A-K-E-O dot I-E. And then basically Windows, based on your Windows ver version, try to download it. And I already downloaded it. So right now I'm trying to install the driver. So says one device found, all good. Now, if you go to USB, um, sorry device manager then we would see that now it's coming to as a it's showing up as a port so this is good um, before it wasn't it was going to other devices with unknown driver but now uh, the rp2 boot is showing up at at uh, com7 as a serial port okay perfect uh i don't know why it's doing that so let's leave it then uh, we go to tools port choose the port that we want to upload. Uh, COM7 actually shows up here and then uh, we can choose it as our port. So right now we chose the port, we chose um, everything else and then the port as well is showing up here. Perfect. So now in order for this to take effect, we have to close it and then open it again. Okay, perfect. Now this is easy because we wanna do uh, just a blink um, of an LED. What we can do is basically uh, go to some of the basic examples of Arduino. So we can go to file and then a sketchbook 
and then the first uh, and then basically choose blink and then for blink basically this is what shows up so we are defining the pin number and then uh, the pin mode and basically this is just a loop that is going to keep running press this one to upload it before the now while this is upload compiling and uploading you can see these um, basically outputs being shown here this might take a minute or two right now um, basically we uploaded our uh, program to the Arduino or our sketch. And we can see that it will, uh, the sketch basically um, in a loop uh, tries to turn on the LED or flash the LED every second and that's what's happening here. So this is the end of the uh, this uh, video. You can try uploading other sketches, basic sketches, or writing your own, and basically try this.